This is the story of an all-girls boarding school in Virginia, where the school's headmistress, Martha Farnsworth, and her students take in a wounded Union soldier, John McBurney. Despite initial reservations, the women nurse McBurney back to health and begin to compete for his attention and affection. As tensions rise, the women turn on each other, and McBurney's true intentions are revealed. Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Mystery Recaps. Today, we will recap a 2017 war drama movie named The Beguiled. To know what happens later, keep on watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. In 1864, the Civil War rages on in Virginia. Corporal John McBurney, a Union soldier, finds himself hiding in the woods with an injured leg. He can barely move and is on the brink of giving up hope. That's when he meets Amy, a young girl picking mushrooms. She sees the wounded soldier and without hesitation offers him help. Amy takes McBurney to Miss Martha Farnsworth Seminary for Young Ladies, a school for girls located on the other side of the woods. With only two teachers and four other students, McBurney is unsure if he'll be welcomed as a Yankee, but Amy reassures him that it's a better place than the forest. Her pure innocence shines through as she helps a stranger in need, without a second thought to the danger he might pose. Despite his reservations, McBurney accepts Amy's invitation, and she helps him walk to the school. As they make their way, McBurney begins to realize the pitfalls of desire, and how they can lead to dangerous consequences. As McBurney and Amy make their way to the Farnsworth Seminary, he learns that the school is only kept open because the teachers and students have nowhere else to go. When Amy asks him why he separated from his group, McBurney remains tight-lipped, and only tells her that he got hit. McBurney collapses upon reaching the seminary. Amy calls for help, Teachers and students tend to his wounds despite initial reluctance. Miss Martha and Miss Edwina argue over what to do with him. Miss Martha decides to wait until he's healed. The students learn McBurney's name, but Martha dismisses it. As they went about their daily activities, including their sewing class, they couldn't help but be wary of the approaching Confederate patrol. Miss Martha made the bold decision to conceal McBurney's presence, lying to the patrol captain about having any Union soldiers in their care. Despite her fear, she kept a calm demeanor, but she couldn't shake off the unease she felt. What do you think? Did Miss Martha make the right choice by not telling the patrol about McBurney's presence? Let us know in the comments section. The next day, she made it clear to McBurney that she didn't appreciate his presence in her school, reminding him that he was an unwelcome visitor and not a guest. However, McBurney showed gratitude for the care he received and tried to be friendly with Miss Martha, understanding her perspective. Alicia approaches Miss Martha, asking if she can assist her in any way. Miss Martha instructs Alicia to inform the other students that the music room is off limits before she leaves to tend to other matters. Mick Burney, who has been confined to the music room, politely requests some soap and a razor for Miss Martha, who reluctantly agrees, but not without expressing her discomfort with his presence in the school. Despite the tension between Mick Burney and Miss Martha, Alicia is intrigued by the corporal and finds ways to get closer to him. Mick Burney seems to be enjoying the attention he's receiving and chuckles to himself as he watches the students try to get his attention. One day, Marie visits Mick Burney with a prayer book and wears a set of pearl earrings to catch his eye. However, when Miss Edwina sees Marie leaving the music room, she demands the return of her earrings. Despite her reluctance, Miss Edwina eventually enters the music room to give McBurney the razor and soap he had requested. Although the presence of a man in the school has made everyone anxious, the ladies are still thrilled to have the opportunity to talk to a good-looking soldier. Each one of them has their own strategy for getting noticed by McBurney, but the tension between him and the teachers remains palpable. Later on, Miss Edwina noticed McBurney's dirty nails, and he revealed that he had thought about burying himself in the chaos of battle, but instead ran away. Miss Edwina and her friend, Miss Burney, didn't view his actions as brave. As Miss Edwina tended to McBurney's wound, they had a conversation about their backgrounds. McBurney was fascinated by Miss Edwina's life and asked her many questions. He thought she might be waiting for a sweetheart to return from the war, but she corrected him and said she had no one in the military. McBurney expressed his attraction towards Miss Edwina, telling her that he had never seen such beauty. He took her hand and asked her what her greatest wish was. Miss Edwina admitted that she wished someone would take her away from the school. Embarrassed, she quickly left the room to gather herself. Miss Edwina remained on guard during their conversation, careful not to let her feelings show. McBurney, on the other hand, was bold in his attraction towards her, making her feel uneasy. As she lingered outside the door, it was clear that she was struggling to restrain herself from acting on her emotions. In the evening, during their daily prayer, Alicia excused herself and approached Miss Martha to ask if she could use the bathroom. However, instead of heading to the bathroom, Alicia made her way to the music room where she found Corporal McBurney sleeping. Without any hesitation, Alicia audaciously leaned in and kissed McBurney on the lips, waking him up from his slumber before quickly rushing back to the prayer group. The next day, over dinner, the teachers and students discussed what they might learn from having McBurney stay with them. Alicia was quick to express her excitement, stating that McBurney's presence would remind them of the world beyond their lessons. However, Miss Martha disagreed and felt that young students like them should focus on learning their lessons to attain a calm and happy life. 
Jane, on the other hand, stated that McBurney's presence would serve as a constant reminder of the ongoing war, emphasizing the importance of prayer. What do you think? What is the lesson here? Let us know in the comments section. Nonetheless, Miss Edwina shared that she found McBurney to be a sensitive person. After dinner, McBurney joined the teachers and students for a prayer session in the music room. As Jane played the piano, McBurney complimented her playing, and the group sang together. Suddenly, a loud pounding interrupted their session, and Miss Martha went to check who the visitor was. She returned and informed the group that two soldiers had come to offer their assistance. However, Miss Martha had not yet told the soldiers about McBurney's presence. Amy opposed the idea of the soldiers taking McBurney, as he was still injured and couldn't travel without pain. The group debated what to do, but Miss Martha ultimately decided to let McBurney stay until he was fully recovered. That night, McBurney expressed his disappointment with the decision, and the girls whispered amongst themselves about how long they believed he would stay. Miss Martha and McBurney discussed the girls' life at the school, and McBurney admired Miss Martha's dedication to the girls and their needs. Bernie asked Miss Martha if she had someone before the war, but McBurney didn't press for more information. McBurney confided in Miss Martha that he was a coward and took $300 to take another man's place in the war. Miss Martha didn't judge him and promised to help him find his way home, even though he didn't want to leave. McBurney tried to win Miss Martha over with compliments, but it didn't work. The next morning, Amy provided a cane for McBurney, and Miss Martha watched as he practiced walking. McBurney lost his balance. Miss Martha caught him. Amy offered to help, but Alicia offered too, and Miss Martha stopped their argument. Once outside, McBurney noticed that the roses needed pruning and volunteered to do it. However, Miss Martha wouldn't let him. But when McBurney said he had some gardening experience, Miss Martha relented and asked him to assist with the garden as he recuperated. McBurney was thankful and said he would be happy to help. McBurney wants to stay at the school and use his garden work as an excuse. Miss Martha is aware of his cowardice, but lets him work. He improves and Miss Martha thanks him. She says he should leave by the end of the week. When he asks where to go, she says it's his decision. McBurney wants to stay and tend to the garden, but Miss Martha refuses. Bernie tries to argue for him to stay, exposing McBurney's fear of leaving. Amy, Alicia, and Emily were devastated when they heard the news that Corporal McBurney was being forced to leave the school. The girls were worried and sad and they started to brainstorm ways to keep him from leaving. They even suggested having dinner with Miss Martha, the headmistress of the school, when Miss Edwina, a visiting teacher, arrived. In the music room, McBurney told Miss Edwina how much he missed her and how he loved her. Miss Edwina was confused, but the corporal was insistent that he was telling the truth. He had felt this way from the moment they first spoke, but he was afraid that she would reject him. McBurney was a tired man who was tired of the war and just wanted to go west and start a new life. Miss Edwina told McBurney that her father could help him once he arrived in Richmond, and McBurney asked her to come with him. Miss Edwina, unable to resist his charms, gave in to the corporal's advances, and they shared a kiss before they were interrupted by Alicia. As they sat down for dinner, McBurney used Miss Edwina's feelings for him to stay at the school. Unfortunately, the lonely teacher fell for his sweet words and was easily manipulated by the corporal. After dinner, McBurney asked to see Miss Edwina later that evening, but before she could answer, Miss Martha invited him to have some tea with her. As they talked, McBurney once again expressed his desire to stay at the school as their gardener, but Miss Martha didn't say anything. Later that night, when everyone was asleep, Miss Edwina put on a nice nightgown and waited for McBurney, but he didn't show up. When she went to look for him, she found him in Alicia's bed. Miss Edwina was hurt and backed away from McBurney, who tried to explain himself, only to push him down the stairs by accident. Everyone woke up and Miss Martha asked what had happened. Alicia lied and said that McBurney had attacked her and that Miss Edwina had fought him off. Believing her story, Miss Martha asked the girls to help carry McBurney to the table and ordered them to return to their rooms. She then informed Miss Edwina that they needed to amputate McBurney's leg. The next day, McBurney woke up to find that his leg had been amputated and he screamed in pain. Miss Edwina tried to talk to him, but he accused her and Miss Martha of poisoning him. He was so enraged that he wouldn't listen to them, even though they insisted that the amputation had saved his life. The women left the room, making sure to lock McBurney inside. Throughout the day, McBurney's loud cries caused concern among the girls, but Miss Martha fears sending him away at the moment might reveal their location. When Alicia tries to visit, McBurney becomes violent and demands the key to his room. McBurney's true colors are now showing as he becomes more erratic and self-absorbed. When Jane is asked by McBurney to speak to Miss Martha on his behalf, she hesitantly agrees but quickly leaves and locks the door. Later, McBurney escapes his room and obtains a gun, causing the girls to panic. Miss Martha offers to assist him as he leaves, but he insists on leaving on his own terms. He becomes increasingly unstable, throwing Amy's pet turtle and drinking heavily. Amy is caught tying a blue rag to the gate as a signal and chased by McBurney into the woods. Despite previously being kind to him, McBurney feels betrayed by Amy. Miss Martha finds Amy with McBurney in the barn and brings him back to the school. 
McBurney threatens the girls with a gun and makes various demands, ultimately shooting a chandelier to prove a point. Miss Edwina tries to seduce McBurney, disregarding Miss Martha's orders. The girls plot to serve McBurney poisonous mushrooms during dinner, which he ends up consuming and falls ill. Amy stops Miss Edwina from eating them. Despite all he has done and shown, Miss Edwina's affection for McBurney remains unchanged. The situation forces the girls and Miss Martha to make difficult decisions, ultimately resulting in McBurney's death from the poison mushrooms. So guys, that's it for today. Check out this video on the screen to watch this amazing movie recap. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon to never miss any exciting movie recaps.